Good news for potential home buyers. Mortgage rates fell for the fourth week in a row. Freddie Mac reports the average 30 year fixed rate is just over six and a quarter percent. Now the problem for would be home buyers is low inventory. It's making buying a house especially difficult for first time buyers. It's been a roller coaster ride for home buyers and sellers as we emerge from the COVID-19 pandemic. ABC 3340's Cynthia Gould is working for you on how the market is trending for spring. While one factor remains dominant in home sales. Location, location, location. Interest rates also on the radar. We were spoiled the past couple years. When I bought my house back in 1986, I paid 18% interest. ARC Realty's Michelle Wilder says compare that to current rates, the fixed rate is up from 3.22% in January of last year to 6.4%. Still not bad. Homes appreciate on average 6% a year. So you still want to invest in a home because it's better than the stock market. But still not enough properties on the market. If you are a seller, right now is the best time to put your house on the market because you don't have as much competition. If you are a buyer, it's still tough. One house sold $100,000 over list price. Inventory in the South is down 35%. Shelby County numbers look like this. Total homes sold in 2022, just under 4,400. Compare that to under 5,000 in 2019. But prices are up from $300,000 to over 400,000. And in Jefferson County, a more dramatic drop in home sales, 22,000 pre-COVID, down to 10,000 in 2022. The Alabama Association of Realtors compiles a monthly snapshot of the market providing guidance to the public, consumers, and policymakers. A feeding frenzy of multiple offers on almost every property. So that has softened some. Uh, buyers now have more opportunities. Key takeaways from their February report comparing year to year, sales down 22 percent, median sales price down 5.5 percent, active listings though up 68 percent. In the long term, we think we're going to be fine. In the short term, we are going through a housing correction. CEO Jeremy Walker concerned the Fed is pushing too hard with interest rate hikes. But we would like for them to slow down. Uh, they have tried to slow down the real estate market. They've done that, um, but they've almost gone too far. Another concern, low housing stock in Alabama, which took a major hit in 2008 when home builders went bankrupt. We've got a number of industries coming to Alabama, but the workers have nowhere to live. And so we certainly believe there's an opportunity to provide an incentive. Government incentives to encourage building. Walker says overall, though, people are hesitant. We hear a lot of buyers and sellers are, are very fearful of the uncertainty in the economy. Now, the market is also tough on real estate agents as well. Many, we're told, are taking second jobs. Of the 6,000 agents in the Birmingham market, only 1,200 sold 12 homes last year. In the newsroom, Cynthia Gould, ABC 3340 News.